It's, it's, like ball. Ball. it's seriously, I thought it was the stupidest thing when somebody first brought it here. But it is the coolest game. It is so addictive. <laughs> my education was in finance, and my dream was to be in the stock market. People always marvel at how many jobs I've had. I've probably had 75, 80 jobs at, at 30, mid 30s. I was very attracted to the idea of being a professional, wearing a suit, making a bunch of money, driving cool cars. I would get into a job, master it, or nearly master it, and I'd be bored. I'm like, okay, next thing. This is the relic, the remnant of uh, my past life. That used to be on the edge of my cube wall, so I stuck it there with athletic tape. So you needed a constantly varied lifestyle. I did, yeah, and, and I still do, and I love, that's part of why I like this. It, it allows me to do so many different things on a daily basis and, and constantly challenge myself. There was a demand for CrossFit. I think I think our city was kind of getting the bug. I mean, once we catch on, we go in a big way. We got a pretty good group. Let's line up, kind of lengthwise right here. We'll go stairs to stairs. We blew up in about four months, five months. We were we were humming right along. We were coming up on growing ourselves to about 100 members, and then uh, yeah, it's been kind of crazy to think. That still, it's like unreal that it even happened. He was working the morning shift at the time and, and coaching class in the, in the early morning and I was coming in later. So he calls me about 4 a.m. He's like, hey man, uh, just as calm as can be. He's like, uh, hey, I don't know what you're doing right now. I'm sorry to wake you, but uh, you should probably get down to the gym because uh, it burned down last night. Investigators are looking into an early morning business fire that happened on the northeast side of Grand Rapids. It happened about 3.30 this morning at CrossFit Luminary on Maryland Avenue near Oak Industrial Drive. I happened to be showing up because I was opening that day. And as I turned the corner to come down the hill and approach the gym, I saw a big puddle at the bottom of the hill. I thought, well, that's weird. It didn't rain last night. Where'd that water come from? And as I get a little bit closer, I start seeing red and blue lights like kind of bouncing off things and I again didn't register I thought that's weird why are there red and blue lights and then it just hit me I was like oh god I hope it's not our building this is where the fire had started the heat just went straight up burned a hole through this roof and just burned straight up and all the smoke then poured um, into the gym so all all of this anything that was in here was like just pretty much destroyed there'd be days that I'm like Forget it. Let's just let's just walk away. Take the money and run. And then he'd be like, "No, man, we can do it. Let's let's build this thing." And then he'd come in and he'd be all depressed one day. And I'd be like, "No, dude, we got it. We can do this." Seeing everything that was taken by the fire, it was it was almost surreal at that point. Everything that I had was in there. I guess a, a passerby driving down this road here saw smoke kind of just like pluming out of that hole, just pumping out. And so they called the fire department. And now all you can really see now is just that little bit up there, like, oh, you know, I got away from insurance to do fitness, and here I am going through itemized lists and, and going through deck pages and reading through coverages and, and just reviewing these options and all this stuff. And, and so it was kind of, it was kind of an extra kick in the pants and a little bit of irony to boot. And at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. We had a fire and we had to figure out where to go from there. Why is your logo still fire? <laughs> We actually were gonna turn it. We were actually gonna turn it red afterwards, because then it was a real fire. But uh, yeah, the irony is just uh, staggering, isn't it? There were some really cool things that came out of having a fire here. It, it, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to say that because you think, oh, it's a fire, it's a tragedy, and it was. But you know it. It happened three weeks before we were before my wife gave birth to the, our first son, and so like, look, you don't you don't want a fire, but if you're gonna have one, what a what a great time for us to have a fire. I mean, I got to spend six months while we were closed down at home with my child. That was an amazing experience that most dads probably don't get to experience. We decided to do the parking lot workers because that's all we had. I mean, we had a couple pieces of equipment that we were able to get clean. Some of the barbells survived. I mean, some of the kettlebells survived. At least this happened, you know, as we were approaching springtime and summer where the weather was nice. It, it felt to me like the videos I've seen of like the original CrossFit Games, you know, with Jason Khalif out there in the dirt doing thrusters, and that's kind of how we were doing out in the parking lot and, you know, doing burpees on the gravel and just <laughs> getting your hands dirty. And, and it felt almost like, in a way, that this is what CrossFit's really about. You know, we didn't even need a gym uh, to experience CrossFit. We got all our people together, I cranked the music in my truck, and we did workouts right there on, on the hot asphalt and ran around with our shirts off, and it was a ton of fun. Being shut down for 
you know, almost nine months, it hurt our business, it hurt. We knew that if we were gonna come back at all, we had to come back in a big way. That called for spending a little extra time, thinking a little bit deeper, put a little bit more money into really building this place out and making it be the gym that our clients deserve. The first time around it was really kind of utilitarian. What, what do we need, what don't we need? And this time, as you can see, like the gym has color, it's vibrant. They put their lives on hold, they put their training on hold in a lot of cases for us. Uh, they had to venture outside the comfort of, of this community here to you know, go to other gyms. And so we knew that if we were gonna come back, we had to make it worth it for, for our clients and for our future clients. I'm actually Mike and Kim's neighbor. So I've known Mike since before Luminary. It was such a great community here. I had made a lot of friends and then the fire happened. And it was like, I'm not leaving. I have to stick, stick by everybody. I knew we could do it again. Like, you know, the fire was, it was a big bump in the road, but that was okay. We had done it before and I knew we could make it better. Honestly, I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> I just knew it looked like a lot of fun and uh, usually I'm not a very social person but they made it easy for me to feel accepted and I just kind of fell into it. We ended up coming back open with a waiting list of people that wanted to train. So I've always thought that that speaks, it must say something that people are willing to work out in a parking lot or work out in a field somewhere, you know, just to experience the type of training that we're providing here. Well, I've been doing CrossFit with Shane for about six years now. Shane and I would get competitive in certain um, wads. Um, and I always kind of prided myself on if I could at least stay in his rear view mirror, then I knew that I was doing something right. Just them and the staff just always really being encouraging and being patient with me. More than anything, I just feel just like more muscular <laughs> just walking down the street, I guess. I think if you look around at the members here, you see people from every different walk of fitness and every different walk of life. And, uh, you know, they really are big on building a community around here, so. Well, you look at the, the community of people these bring together, and CrossFit gyms all around the country, I, I'm sure that every gym will say the same thing, but the, the group of people it brings together are, are just phenomenal people. We've poured our heart and soul into this place twice, and... Uh, Many of our members now never even knew that there was a fire. Didn't even know our story. I'll ask people, like, you know our story? Like, no, we didn't even know that you had a fire at all. Mm -hmm.